There is a tendency on e-paper. The idea is to substitute newspapers, books, journals by tablets. In our case, we are still using cellulose or paper for making electronic circuits. So we substitute the E from left to right. We work on paper E. The paper chip or the paper transistor is an electronic circuit, an integrated circuit, if you want, using paper. We are using paper not only as a substrate, where we deposit all the different materials for making integrated circuits, but the paper itself is an electronic material. We are using conventional printing technologies for our devices because the only difference are the inks. Instead of using just a ink with a color, we are using inks with other functionalities like conductivity, like with the semiconductor properties. We developed these inks within our laboratories. We formulate the inks and we print. Silicon is abundant, but the technology used for making integrated circuits with silicon is um, pollutant. We are looking for available materials, non-toxic materials, abundant materials. I don't want to replace the microprocessor using this type of materials. This is not our target. We want to use this type of concept for different applications where it is impossible to use conventional electronics. We need to develop low-cost electronics in order to be able and to use all these type of um, uh, intelligent labels. Is emerging the Internet of Things. Everyone is talking about it, but we don't have yet everything connected. Why? Because we need to use low-cost electronics. Otherwise, the cost is too high. For example, I, I will not use a label with conventional electronics using silicon in an object, in a, a, pack, a packaging for milk, if the content is less expensive than the electronics I will have.